That's why I said curse me out later. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Y'all know this mic is my new thing now. So let's talk about all of the planners that I purchased in 2024 and did not use. Here's the thing, I am a one planner girl and I know this about me, but every year I try not to be. Okay, every year I try not to be and that's why I have a, pl a stack of planners over here that I did not use. So if you see me with a dated planner, other than my rings for 2025, curse me out. That's why I said curse me out later. If you see me with a dated planner in 2025, direct me back to this video. I'm like, um, remember? Yeah, because Delulu, Delulu, if I think that I can use more than one planner. Um, I have a stack of planners over here, just four. We're gonna do a quick flip. When I say quick, quick because they're empty because I left them for dead okay did not use them um we're gonna talk about the plan that I had for them because of course I'm a planner so I had my, I had a plan in mind of how I wanted to use the planners but essentially did not use them and the reason being is that I think probably like February March once I got into the rhythm of using my rings it was over for those planners it was over so let's do a quick clip and talk about all of the planners that I did not use for 2024. So here is the stack. We have the 2024 through 2028 Hobonichi five-year Techo in the size A6. I have the 2024 large classic moleskin um, monthly planner in the soft cover. I have the 2024 Hobonichi Techo Cousin. This is the A5 size. And then I have the Laurel Denise planner this is the 2024 mini horizontal weekly in the color evergreen so let's start with this so i came across this planner by watching one of my favorite youtubers amanda's favorites um i'll put her on the screen but this planner is one of the cutest planners i've ever seen in my life so the selling point to this planner is that you could see your monthly and your weekly at the same time so it comes with let me back up. It comes with two pockets, one in the front, one in the back. It has clear bookmarks. Let me show you. Has two clear bookmarks, right? Has a full list of holidays and you have yearly space to plan anything. Each month comes with a monthly overview and then weeklies on short pages. Plus you have space for notes. Um... And then it comes with a daily habit tracker. I forgot. It comes with a daily habit tracker. This was supposed to be a content planner. Now, if you are somebody who, of course, this is great for planning, but if you're somebody who wants a content planner, this layout would be ideal. So, of course, you have your calendar here. You have your weeklies here. I was using this for, of course, my overall content calendar. The weeklies, I would put day-specific tasks. Um, this, I would put like a running to-do list of things I wanted to get done for that day. And then on the back, I would use it, the habit tracker to track any like PR posts that I was doing. And then I didn't use this, but this was just space to brain dump and have notes. I mean, I love this. Of course it didn't go past February, but this is super cute. So again, if you are somebody who uses multiple planners and want something for content specific, I think this would be ideal. So that was that, the Laura Denise mini um, horizontal weekly planner. So the 2024 Hobonichi Cousin, I wanted this because 2023 and 2020, well, 2022 and 2023, I was using the Hobonichi Weeks and I loved it. So I was like, oh, let me try the Cousin. I love the idea of this layout. The problem is this is too much space for me. If I were to ever switch from personal rings, I would probably go to pocket. Like I wouldn't go up. I would go down a size because this is just too much space. So this comes with your yearly. This comes with a yearly index. Originally, I was tracking um, my scripture a day. Then I started tracking my workouts. I have a little hair care calendar down here. This calendar is from Coffee Monster, the Coffee Monsters Co. I did purchase the kits to use in here as well. Um same thing just tracking and then it started off good so this is december this was going to be this was just for daily affirmations so we did daily affirmations we did prayers no this is another affirmations and then this was prayers um and then we get to april yeah because 
yeah march looks like this and then april looks like this um so that fell off the plan for the monthly was i could use whatever i wanted to use it for so whether it be um the same as within my personal rings or whether it be like a scripture or an affirmation whatever have you then for the weeklies i can't really show y'all because this is specifically for memory keeping so i would write exactly what happened that day everything i wanted to remember what happened i would write exactly what happened um in the weeklies and i did use some of them but not many um these are the dailies so didn't start in here until the seventh and I'm like, why didn't I? But I think it was because that's when I was starting to do the 21 days of prayer. So it started on the 7th, I believe. So this is all like devotional Bible study stuff in here. Um, and then did that and then fell off because I went back to my notebook that I like to use for that kind of stuff. Um, started painting in here. <laughs> just anything and then june no so july i started to journal in here and that was kind of fun and then that lasted how many days that lasted 15 days yep that lasted 15 days so that was the cousin too much space i love this though love this book and i love how people use it i will watch a whole energy cousin video all day every day because i love the way people use it i just cannot so that was the cousin. Okay, so the Moleskine Planner Monthly. So this is the month on two pages followed by Rude Lines. Um, I love Moleskine and I loved this planner. I love their notebooks, especially I was using this as my pre-planner. So everything was supposed to go in here first and then I will plan in my personal rings. I used this little calendar here for my paydays and then I would use these dots for birthdays and just like any events. Um, okay. The monthly page was supposed to be, of course, everything that was happening, my word of the month, my book that I was reading, everything that was supposed to be happening as far as my calendar. And then I would write out my calendar and then I will schedule in my goals so that I can see where I can get everything done in. So that was the plan for this. I don't know this. I just did not use this, but I did use the note pages. So I had ordered these custom stickers from Sweet Caress and I was kind of copying off the Moxie Life system with the to-dos and then the action items. So I had all of my to-dos, everything I wanted to get done for the month of January. And then I had my action items for my goals. So my goals were broken down and then I had my action items for each goal. And this worked out until, until March. Yep, it's worked out until March. So I love the idea of this. I usually can use a pre-planner and it works so well for me. So I'm not sure why this did not work. I'm, it may have been this space. I don't know. Honestly, I do not know because the idea, yeah, I don't know. So that happened. And then the back, I just used it um, to write out my, um, my planning routine for 2024. So I had my quarterly, monthly, weekly, and daily routine. But that was that. And then I, of course, have all this note pages. And then last but not least, we have the Hobonichi Fabio Techo in A6. This is through 2024 through 2028. It has a calendar for each of those years. And then it has a um, daily planner section with a full two-page spread for each day of the year. And then on the right page, it has that blank space for any additional notes. I used this all the way up until February 4th. And then I stopped. <laughs> And that was that. This was supposed to be my journal. So I was supposed to journal any any moods, any prayers, whatever have you. I was supposed to journal in this. I did not. I started journaling in my personal rings, honestly. That's when I had those um infinite loaded lotus daily pages. I would just journal on those. So um yeah. <laughs> I did pick this back up though on the 29th. So I do want to continue to use this because it is dated until 2028 so that is the stack y'all that is all of the planners that i planned to use for 2024 and i have not been using the thing about it is just that everything that i planned to do in all of these planners i do in my personal rings and i am a one planner girl and i just have to face the fact so my 2025 lineup looks like my personal rings my b6 strategy for notes and then my hobonichi weeks um 
as my archive and memory keeper. So thank y'all so much for watching. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.